Welcome to Staccato Reviews, where I review an album after just one listen. This time, it's the 1981 EP by a band called I Don't Know How, But They Found Me. This, this band was recommended to me by a friend who uh, told me that it's, it's actually a new band that was just formed by the bass player of Panic at the disco he he i believe plays guitar and does vocals on this album and for this band now now me i actually haven't heard much panic at the disco but i've i'm pretty sure i've heard a few of their songs back when they were popular on the radio they were okay um never really a band i knew that much but maybe if i had heard more of them i would have been into them I don't know, it's uh, uh, hard to really say. But but today we're talking about I Don't Know How But They Found Me, which is a really cool name for, <laughs> for a band, I'd say. Um, this album, I guess I'd call it kind of a uh, pop rock, maybe kind of an indie rock with kind of a pop, mm, slightly electronic vibe. I guess most music these days has, has kind of an electronic vibe in there, um, at least most pop music. So yeah, I would definitely call this a pop rock album, um, and I like pop rock. I listen to a lot of pop rock bands like uh, Fountains of Wayne is awesome. I love uh, a lot of their stuff. Uh, that's that's just one example. Um, but this band, yeah, um, it's kind of a uh, stripped down kind of sound on this album. Um, I have to say... Uh, a lot of the songs kind of sound the same, which was a little disappointing considering the album's only about 15 minutes long. But it's an EP, it's a new band, and I can tell they're, they're just kind of having f f fun. So, hey, all, all the songs are really catchy, uh, mostly upbeat for the most part, which I like. Um, but overall, nothing on this album really stood out too much or impressed me too much to where I might go, oh man, uh, you, you have to hear this album. Um, it's not really one of those, but it's one might be f f fun to listen to when you're driving in the car, which is where I heard it first. So that's, I really don't have too much else to say about this album. Um, a lot of fun uh hooks but nothing too complicated nothing too crazy but um if you like catchy guitar based and electronic based pop music might want to check this one out cp is not very long um quickly we'll go through some standout tracks um i believe they have one kind of hit s single that's out right now and that's actually the uh the song my my f friend who recommended this has had heard and then uh, told me, hey, I heard this, it was awesome, you should maybe check out the whole EP. So that song is uh, Do It All The Time, which is definitely, in my opinion, the best song on the album. It's uh, the last track on this EP. Um, it's just really catchy, uh, hook, uh, radio-friendly rock, which I like. I mean, uh, uh, who, uh, who, who doesn't really? Um, other standouts were uh, the song Choke, which is nice. Um, always like any upbeat song with kind of darker lyrics in it. And then I like the song Bleed Magic a lot. It um, kind of used more heavier electronic instrumentation, just kind of had a different feel overall than, uh, than the rest of the tracks on this EP. Um, the rest were all kind of the same. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Uh, would would I listen to this album again? Um, I would definitely listen to that song, Do It All The Time Again. Um, the whole album, eh, maybe one or two more times, just randomly when I feel like uh, throwing on some pop rock. Um, other than that, probably would skip this one. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.